Hey friends, welcome back. I just got back from church and we have a problem. I wasn't planning on dealing with this today, but let me show you. So we're on the side of the house here. So the garden is all there. This is the neighbor's strip and we have a major leakage somewhere. Can you see? See the water pooling up and big old puddle there. Been looking, trying to figure out what the problem is. So had each zone go, was trying to see if we could see the leak or hear the leak or anything like that, and we can't. We can't find it. One of the half inch water lines had a kink, so we thought, okay, maybe it's flowing back up and leaking out the top here. And it's not. So everything that's growing along here, we're gonna have to rip out. And you can see all the sweet potato vines. So we'll have to go ahead and harvest our sweet potatoes early, I think. And we got volunteer tomato plants coming up back here. We'll have to rip out. And I don't even know. I think we're gonna have to clear it out and be able to see exactly what's going on. But I'll show you something cool. Okay, so this is a new project for another day. But I wanted to grow something up beside the house, like pretty flowers, and it turned into a whole garden bed project. Anyways, look at this. Those sweet potato vines are just going at it like crazy. <laughs> so ideally, the sweet potatoes being in the ground for another month and a half would be ideal. But oh well, if they got to move, they got to move. We got to figure this out. So. Let's start tearing stuff apart and seeing what we can, what is that? Oh, cardboard. And then when we come around this way, bummer, because this volunteer tomato plant is so happy here. And look at all the tomatoes. There, I don't know if you can see, but there's tomatoes everywhere that are green, which sucks. But this is the sweet potatoes here, all kinds of stuff growing back there. Sweet potato vines are just taken over everywhere and yesterday it was super soggy right here still pretty moist Ooh, it's hot out here i thought it wasn't supposed to be so hot today anyways get this get this hair out of the way okay so the water supply has been turned off here so we're going to turn it back on. Wait, there we go. And then come over here. Where's my kneeling pad? Oh, yeah. Get my kneeling pad. Wow. My foot just, foot, just, foot just slid right into that. So, since the water supply is on, we're going to see if we can find a slow drip. If I can salvage this tomato plant, I will. So let me just put that there. The sweet potato vines are all intertwined. Gotta be gentle. Oh, this is two different plants. Oh, okay, it needs to go this way. see any leakage so it's got to be lower so one thing we're suspecting is that this pile of compost is putting too much weight on PVC somewhere and we're going to try to look for a crack so I got to pull this compost back see the PVC running right along there and here so we're going to see if that's the problem That was the sweet potato vine that I showed you on the front side of the house.
Ooh, I think I'll just go ahead and harvest these now. Two sweet potatoes. Okay, I'm not seeing anything broken or cracked, are you? I'm not seeing anything leaking either. So the problem isn't here, I don't think. So let's go farther down that way and see. I just have a feeling it's happening over there more so because so much water is over there on the neighbor's side. But we were also getting pooling right here where I'm at. Okay, so without hurting that tomato plant. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. Oh, bummer. Okay, so there's not much weight or pressure here at all, which is what I was trying to make sure of when I first put this pile here. Oh, I can't even reach. I don't even know where to put my foot. Okay, nothing is leaking here either. So I think even though it's already been done, we're gonna have to give, we're gonna have to try every zone again and watch and listen at all components. So let me get my phone out. Okay, the side yard is running for one minute, so let's look. Another volunteer tomato plant, prop up there. Sweet potato vines. <laughs> I don't know where this is coming from and why it the ends on this side. Hang it up there. We have nightshade growing back here. We need to get out completely. Pretty purple flowers and poisonous red berries. <gasps> oh, crap. This potato vine. This potato vine must be coming from the sweet potatoes way over there. Get up here out of the way. I just had a sweet potato root in over here and I pulled out this sweet potato. I'm kind of wishing I would have left it. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, oh, small one. Oh, there's more roots. Well, that's really cool. Kind of wish I would have left it now. but I really want to get all this out of the way. Here's another one. That would have turned into something bigger, for sure. Oh well, okay, let me try to get these out. Okay, we're going back around front. My socks and shoes are thoroughly soaked, which irritates me so much. I cannot stand the feeling of it. So we're gonna clear Try to clear out this space too, just so we can see. Okay. That one broke, sweet potato vine. These are invasive nightshades that won't just go away. See all that sitting water? I've gotta figure this out. Forgot my kneeling pad. So I guess I'm just gonna get my pants wet too. And that's where we have a kink. Can you see? See the puddle already? So 
So this is where the hose is teed and goes to the front yard for the front yard sprinklers and it is leaking quite a bit. So now we know the culprit. So we'll have to just replace the T here. It's not such a big leak that it was preventing these from coming up because you can see they're coming up. So there's still enough pressure, but it's enough leakage to cause all this, which is just crazy. Look at all that. That's quite a big leak. So let's get a T and cut and repair. I know I did some uh, organizing. Okay, so we just need an elbow. Right here. And we'll see if we can make it work. Okay, got that. Okay, I'm trying to make sure this doesn't kink. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave it above ground so I can keep an eye on it. Okay, no leak. Yay! So we're gonna monitor this and monitor over there and hope it stays good. Alexa, turn on sink light. Got a couple soup potatoes. I didn't end up needing to pull any of these up because they weren't related to the leak at all. But now we got a snack, so it's fine. Okay, the last task we're going to do, it's a little bit of protection on my hands, is try to get that kink out that I showed you in the beginning. It's hot outside, so we're gonna try to do it fast. Even if it says it's only 80 out, it is miserable. If the sun is out and it's 80, drip and sweat. I used to live where there's dry heat, and I would take dry heat over humid any day. 
Okay, so here we are. And that kink was, oh, I forgot my kneeling pad again. So this one goes to the L bed where the tomatoes are. And those have not been getting water as well. And I thought that maybe the emitters were plugged or something. warmed it up that way I could make it unkink and I'm just holding it in place so it'll stay the way I want it to okay I think the kink might be out okay. looks better feels better so should be good hopefully I'll test it here in a second see so I'm glad we figured out the problem and got everything fixed. So thanks for being here. Thanks for coming along while we fix stuff and have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Feel free to like and subscribe and bye.